point water you see is the section of the river that is known as Hell's Gate. It got its name because of early explorer Simon Fraser. When he was cruising down here in his canoe searching for a new fur trading route to the Pacific, he got to this spot and was forced to abandon his canoes and he had to portage the extremely steep treacherous cliffs around here. Of course that didn't make him too happy at all so he wrote in his journal, this is a place where no human being should venture for surely we have encountered the gates of hell. And that gave us our name all those years ago. Here on the Cascade Mountainside, you can see the Canadian National Railroad. And right down beneath us is one of their tunnels. This tunnel is kind of infamous because during its construction in 1914, the engineers messed up really bad by failing to detect a massive fault line there in the mountain, and they got carried away with the dynamite. Because of that, they caused an avalanche that sent 100,000 cubic meters of rock into the Fraser River, which was disastrous for all the spawning salmon. It in fact nearly ended the salmon run for 30 years. And the only reason that salmon survived that 30 year period was thanks to the efforts of the First Nations people, who would go down to the river, net and basket as many of the salmon as possible to release them upstream so they could still make it to their spawning grounds. Of course, that's not the most effective thing in the world. So eventually, the Canadian and American governments began the construction of what are known as the international fishways. And if you look down, in the water on both sides of the river, you can see those large steel and concrete structures. Those are the fishways. They allow the salmon to bypass the turbulent water here by slowing the water speed down through the gates from about 30 kilometers an hour down to about five kilometers an hour. Mm -hmm. Salmon are naturally attracted to slower moving water, so they have no problem finding their way up to the gates and past the turbulent water here. If you look on the left hand side, you can see the suspension bridge. That's definitely the best place to get some photos. And if you're standing out there, you really get a good feel for how powerful the river is here. Just be aware though, it does get kind of windy. So 